Welcome to Travels with Alicia. In this episode, I'm going to talk about Puerto Morelos, Mexico. It's a small seaside town in the Riviera Maya. It's about 30 kilometers south of the Cancun airport. So it's about halfway between Cancun and Playa de Carmen. But it's very different than both of those. It feels like a small fishing village. There's still a main port about two kilometers outside of the town, and that main port is a commercial port, so it's not, you know, tourists and, and taking um, people to the islands, but it it's the main commercial port to uh, Cozumel. This town has a very interesting layout. There is the beach side of the town, and then two kilometers inland, there is the colonial side of the town. And so um, in between, there are mangroves and a road, just a one single road that goes between the two. Um, it's very cheap to get taxi. It's about $2 to go between the two. So it's really no issue. Um, I make a joke. I'd rather see people movers like those things in the airport that you could stand on and would just take you between the two. But anyway, it, it, that's just a joke. I mean, it's fine. Everyone takes the taxis. They're very inexpensive. But Puerto Morelos is not the only town that has that layout. Tulum does as well. They have a beachside, and then they have a town. And they, that's actually five kilometers between the two. So, you know, I think that is, um, it's not similar to every town on the Riviera Maya, but both Puerto Morelos and Tulum have that layout. So I'm, I stayed on the beachside. It was, it was lovely. It's a, ve- it's a very small town, and they have a square, just like every town in Mexico. And the square has just been redone. They have put in beautiful, like, I want to say bleachers, like, you know, and a, and a stage. And, and under the bleachers, every seat's lit up. And it's just very modern. And it it's definitely feels like the center is built for a much larger town. So I think they're expecting a lot of development in this area over the next probably 10 years or so. Um, They also built a playground. There's a church on the square. And then there's several restaurants around as well. And the square butts up right to the the ocean. So that's a nice aspect of uh, the Puerto Morales town square. So I did not spend a lot of time on the colonial side, but I'll touch on a few things that I've heard and and probably it would be worth your while to visit it if you go. Um, Like I said, it's very simple to get over there. One of the things I also want to tell you about the town is that, you know, not we talked about it being small. It's really only two or three streets going north from the square. And those streets had, you know, houses and small apartments. It's not like Playa de Carmen where you're going to find large condo buildings with gorgeous pools on the roof. These are more small kind of quaint type places. I rented... um, an Airbnb, and it was, it was newer. So it was definitely, I mean, not old. It was two beds, one bathroom. It was a gated community. It had a, you know, perfect Wi-Fi, smart TV, perfect air condition, and it was fifty-four dollars a night. It was, I loved it. It was beautiful. It actually came with bikes, so if you wanted to ra- ride around town, um, and it was two blocks from the beach. So the, that's the price range. I will say, you know, you can find some really inexpensive things even on the beach side of Puerto Morelos. Um, it did not have a pool. But, you know, that's not really that important if you're, you know, there for the beach. I will say, unfortunately, there was seaweed. Um, it's been a problem for about two years in the whole Riviera Maya area. So there was a lot of seaweed. Um, I was working remotely, so... It wasn't a major problem, but when I took the day off, I had a vacation day, I ended up getting a day pass at the Fives Hotel. So there is a wonderful hotel that, you know, is still within like four blocks of the town on the beach, and they have their own private beach club, and they have infinity pools, one down below, one on the roof. They've got restaurants. It's a really fun vibe. It's it's a younger crowd. It's a little bit modern and hip. And um, the day pass was 1,200 pesos, which is about $60. And it sounded expensive, but it was 100% credited to food and drink. And I didn't even spend the $60. I mean, I went, I had drinks, I had breakfast, then I even went back for an early dinner. Like, so I, I had a lot of things and I still fell short of spending the 1,200 pesos. But the pools were gorgeous. The atmosphere was nice. There was music. Um, 
definitely worth doing if you are in Puerto Morelos uh, for a while. And if there happened to be seaweed, I would suggest a day pass at the Fives Hotel. So what else can I tell you about? I mean, the beach, like I said, had seaweed, but it was such a nice environment. There was a lot of locals. There was a lot of food being sold on the beach and fruit being sold on the beach. I got, you know, a big bag of watermelon and um, everyone is super friendly. Um, so I really enjoy the atmosphere. So Puerto Morelos is a favorite of long-term travelers. A lot of people are retiring there. It does have an older feel to it um, and a family local vibe. So they're the two vibes that I got when I was there. And both are, are you know, fine. You just should be aware of it. You'll, there's lots of local families, so that's nice. And then there's um, an older crowd. There's a lot to do. I mean, other than the beach, there is 500 meters off the beach is a reef, and it's one of the best reefs for snorkeling. You can get, a, I think it's like $40, you can get a boat to take you out, and you can snorkel for a half hour and come back. And a lot of people do that. Also, you know, and I've covered this in many of my episodes, but just Puerto Morales, just like the other towns, you can visit all the cenotes, you can visit all the, you know, Mayan ruins. Everything can be visited easily from Puerto Morales. You can get a tour. You can do it yourself. Um, the ADO bus stops on the colonial side, so you can take the bus to a lot of these destinations. You would just have to take a taxi to the colonial side. So what about the food? There, there were, a, I mean, a lot of restaurants, but, you know, Playa de Carmen has thousands. So I thought the food was good. Um, I think my expectations, because I've heard so much about Puerto Morelos, I had very high expectations. So I had some local food. It was really, really good. I had tacos. I had ceviche. I had a kind of odd experience at Mar Bella. It's on the beach. It's a gorgeous, you know, valet, you know, higher end seafood place. It's actually on the beach. So it has beach seating and beautiful views. Everything's by weight. So you just I would just suggest be careful and ask because I was going to get a ceviche and a glass of wine and I asked how much my ceviche was going to be and it was going to be $75. I, I didn't even think anything would be $75 in Puerto Morelos. So I quickly uh, changed my order. But just to be on the lookout, if there's not prices, that's no matter where you are in the world, it's a good thing to ask. Um, but the, the food was very good. Um, I had, you know, no bad food while I was there and there was plenty of choices. So I had some secret finds that I wanted to share with you. I, I've already shared the day pass at the Fives. The other one was a bookstore. In the main square that we talked about earlier, there's a bookstore called Alma Libre Bookstore, and a Canadian couple owns it, and it was just unbelievable. It wasn't that large, but it had every author I've ever heard of. It had many, many books by all the popular authors. They used to go back and forth between Canada before COVID, and, you know, kind of constantly supply their bookstore. It's been difficult lately. They said all their friends, anyone who travels and comes down brings them books. But um, most of them are used, but they have all the best sellers too. So it was a wonderful little find. Um, and I definitely bought a book there. Another find if you're in Puerto Morelos and you want to do something for the day, look up the Layla Guest House. So it's a little kind of bed and breakfast, but the owner, I think, takes people on tours on Wednesday. So he will um, take you to uh, like a cenote and lunch with a Mayan family, and it's a small group tour. And it's, you know, with someone who's living in Puerto Morelos, and I, I would highly suggest that. Um, uh, you know, unfortunately, I didn't find out about it to after Thursday, and I was only there for a week. But that's something if I went back to Puerto Morales, I would probably look that up and, and do that because that's very different than some of these larger commercial tours. There also was a very interesting grocery store. Um, the Chetral Grocery Store is in right off the square in Puerto Morales. It's kind of like a Whole Foods. So it wasn't as cheap as some of the grocery stores I kind of gone to in Mexico, but they had wonderful selection. And it was also a place that, you know, as I said, there's a lot of people traveling longer term here. People gather at this grocery store. They're, they get their coffee there. They actually had a wine machine, like a really modern wine machine that you just push a button and 
put your credit card in and you could get a glass of wine. They also have some prepared food that was very inexpensive. So it seemed to be like people in the know and locals were actually hanging out at the grocery store, eating their meals and having wine. And there was indoor outdoor seating. So I kind of found that funny. And it's obviously a little secret find that as a tourist, you wouldn't think to do. But um, it looked like everyone was having a great time. So in summary, I guess I would like to say Puerto Morelos was beautiful. It had character. Um, I do believe there'll be a lot of development in the next 10 years. It was a slower pace than some of the other places on the Riviera Maya. I think a lot of people are looking for that. So if that's something that you're looking for, I think it'll check check the box for you. Um, I would definitely go back. I, I had a good experience. I think I just had such high expectations. It's probably not somewhere if I was going to go for three months, I probably wouldn't choose it. But that's just my personality. Um, and next time I go, and I will I will return, because I always like to give places a second and third chance, I think I'm going to spend some time on the colonial side so that I can give you a more even um, kind of perspective on it. I hope you've enjoyed this time together, and I've made you think a little bit about the destination Puerto Morelos. <music>